Hey there Cubers, my name is Plus2 and today I'm going to show you how to build a redstone binary counter. As with just about everything in Minecraft, there's a bunch of different ways you can build a binary counter. This one I think is unique because it does give a redstone output signal relative to the, to the bit value for the first few bits. So this is the one bit and when it's activated it will give out a redstone signal of strength one. This is the two bit. When it's activated, it will give out a redstone signal of strength 2, uh, and that works for the 4 and the 8 bit as well. Uh, the next bit is the 16 bit, which doesn't give out a 16 strength signal because you can't. You can only give out 15. Um, but for the first 8 bits, that can be a really useful thing uh, to have. And if you don't know what I mean by the 1 bit, the 2 bit, the 4 bit, and the 8 bit, and all that, I'm going to go over the basics of binary counting and give you a brief overview of how this system actually works. A binary number is represented by individual bits that can either be turned on or off. And if those bits are off, then you do not add anything for their value. If the bit is on, then you add the value of that bit. So for a number of one, if we flick this on, we add that, and that's the number, that's the representation of the number one. If we want the number two, we turn this on here, that's the number two. We have both of these on, that represents the number of three. Two plus one is three. If we want to have four, click that on these two off that's the number four if you want to have 12 8 and 4 is 12 this sequence represents the number of 12 etc etc and this is actually a good way to visualize how a binary counter will increment its value so if we have this value right here this is 2 plus 1 so it's a value of 3 and if we want to increment that we want to move over to 4 if the signal is coming down this way we're skipping over any bit that's on so the 1 is on so we skip that the 2 is on we skip that we come to the four, that's off, so we flick that on, and then we go back and we flip that off and off. So when you're adding a number, you the signal starts from one side, continues on until it finds a bit that's off, and it turns that off. And if it passed any bits that were already on, it turns those bits off. So here we have a value of five, we pass another signal through it, two is off, so we turn that on, we passed one, and we turn that off. And now we have a value of six. That's exactly how our system works here. Let me give you a brief demonstration here. So right now everything is set to zero. All these lamps are off. Push this button. It increments by one. So now we have the one bit. We have this. We have the one bit is activated. Push this button again. Two bit turns on. The one bit turns off. We have the value of two. And et cetera, et cetera. We can keep that going. There we go. So we have the four bits on, the two bits off, the one bits off. So we have a value of four, and a value of five, et cetera, et cetera. And one of the most fun things about this particular system here is if you connect the signal back up to this block here, this is a monostable circuit here, uh, it will continue to increment itself. So if I send one pulse through, it'll keep cycling that pulse around and continue to increment the value over and over. All right, so let's take a look at how this actually works here. So when we, send a, when we send a signal through this block here, this is a monostable circuit, so it sends a one tick pulse through here. As you can see, it goes through this line here and it tears off through this repeater here, which powers this block. It has a piston underneath it, which activates this, pushes this up, creates what is effectively a monostable circuit, just doesn't reset on its own. Um, and so that gives a one tick pulse out to this piston here. That's a sticky piston. So that one tick pulse causes that to spit its block out here. Now before that's spit out, the signal travels here and it can't pass through here. But once this is spit out, once this bit has been activated, this block is here so the signal can carry on to the next bit. This system here pushes this block up, which pushes this composter up, which you can change the redstone output signal from this. So if we turn that first bit on, we'll see this is now up. So when the signal comes through here again, it's going to pass through this repeater, but there's no black there for it to charge, so nothing's going to get sent to either of these two repeaters here. There's no charge that's going to go off that way. But it will continue through here, pulling through this repeater, and doing the same thing on this number two bit. So it, when it comes through here, it's going to pass, it's going to skip over the one bit, and it's going to hit this number two bit, which is going to push this up. It's going to spit this black out here. And then when this black gets powered, it's also going to send a signal out through the back here, through this repeater. It's going to send out a two tick pulse through this line right here. And this is sort of the reset line. So it's not gonna carry on this way, but it's gonna carry on through to the one bit. It's gonna power this block here for two ticks, which will be long enough for this sticky piston to pull this block back. 
and it's also going to come up here powering this block here powering this piston to push these two things back down and that's what resets that bit so that the system will know to turn it back on the next time a signal comes through now with both of those on you can see the pattern here it continues on so the signal will pass there's no block there for it to power anything there there's no block there for it to power anything here but there's block here for it to continue through there's a block here for it to continue through and then it's going to power this bit here the four bit the four bit once it's powered here will also send a two tick signal back through here powering these pistons turning these two bits off after it turns the number four bit on So it's a fairly straightforward system. There's nothing too complex going on here. And what's really great about it is that it's completely tileable. So every time you add a new bit, you're just building the exact same thing. So after this uh, 16 bit here, we can then add a 32 bit and then a 64 bit, et cetera, et cetera. Continue on basically through to the render distance. Then even then you can probably still loop it back and continue going, but I don't know why you'd ever need to represent values that high in Minecraft, but who knows? All right, so let's do a quick build tutorial here. The system's gonna start off with a monostable circuit that you can power in, in any way. Um, in this setup, I'm just gonna put block here with a button on it, monostable circuit, perfect. And for anyone unfamiliar, all a monostable circuit does is take a pulse that can be anywhere from one tick to any, any number of ticks and it turns it into an exactly one tick pulse. Now we're actually gonna do something a little bit different with it at some point, but the main function is to turn it into a one tick pulse. And from here, we're gonna go into our bit. Now, for any repeating bits, you're gonna start with just this repeater here. So this part is just at the beginning. The repeater forward is for every bit that you wanna add. So off of this repeater here that's set to one tick, we're gonna go forward three redstone. We're gonna have a repeater going off the second redstone that's also set to one tick. We're gonna create another monostable circuit, but this time with just a regular piston. On top of that, we're gonna have a composter. Now the amount that you put in this composter will vary if you want the system to give a specific output. So if you want this to be the one bit and you want it to give a redstone signal output of one, you put one item in it. If you want it to put out a signal of two, then you need to fill it up until you have two bits in there and it'll give out the desired signal. And to verify that, you can just put down a composter with a comparator next to it, run a signal, out from there, and then you can see when you have one item in there, you get a redstone signal of one. When you get the second created item there, you get an output signal of two, three, four, right there, and then five, seven, eight, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have a, the composition is completely full. You can see because there's white on the top there and it gives a strength of eight. And that's the maximum that we can represent with this binary counter. So from this block right here, you're gonna take a redstone repeater out that's set to one tick. And then at the back, you have a redstone repeater out that's set to two ticks. Now this is the first bit and you don't want the system to be able to continuously increment itself. Then you don't need to put this repeater on the back, uh, sending that signal back out. But for every other bit, or if you do want the system to be able to continuously uh, increment itself, you do need to have this hop uh, repeater set to two ticks out the back here. And next to the repeater off the side here, you're going to have a sticky piston with a solid block in front of it here. On the back side, you're going to have an, a, another solid block, and then you're just going to staircase up like this around the side there. Now up the top here, we're going to put another regular piston facing downwards. And then we'll want a redstone signal up here. Does not need to go to the top, top block. That block is not necessary. And also at the front of the composter here, you're going to put a block right there and a comparator right there. And this is where you're going to get your redstone output here. So you can do anything in this example here. I've taken a redstone repeater there so that when it's activated, when the bit is on, the redstone lamp will be activated. And as I said, for each bit, you just build it exactly the same way. So we built that exact same thing here. Now for this one, this would be our number two bit. So I'll show you how you'd set that, do that reset system here. From this repeater in the back here that is set to two ticks, you just carry this on to any previous bit. So you wanna make sure that if you have more bits, you have a repeater here that's also set to two ticks so that the signal won't pass this way because it'll start resetting other bits that you don't want it to. 
So you have the signal coming out here and it just needs to connect to this line right here. Now again, as I said, if you want this to continuously repeat itself, you have to run that signal then all the way back into uh, the bot that you used to first activate it. Uh, but that's an optional thing. That's not necessary for the system to run. And there you have it. That's as complex as this build gets right here. As I said, you could just take this bit and continue to build it over and over and over and over again, and it will continue to count up and allow you to count to even higher numbers. So that's the first system I have here. The second system I have is a bit more complex. So this system will allow you to increment a binary number, but what happens if we want to subtract it? Well, you could clear out the entire system, which you do by powering this line back here at the very end, completely clears everything out, sets it back to zero. So you can clear that out and you can just count back up to whatever number you were trying to get to. If you want to subtract a number or decrement a number, you cannot do that with this system here. So let's go over that real quick and I'll show you how to build an addition to this system that will allow you to decrement that binary value. So let's take a look at our binary number again here. So again, we'll go over this real quick. If, you, if you're adding a number, you pass the signal through, skip over this one because it's on, skip over this one because it's on, this one is off. So we flip that on and turn off any numbers that we, or any bits that we passed got on the way. Now, subtracting a number is exactly the opposite. We pass this signal through, this one's off, so we skip over that, this one's off, so we skip over that, this one's on, so we turn that off, and we turn on any number that's on below, or that was off below that. So in that example, we had the number four, so we pass forward, we flip off four, and we flip on one and two, making the value of three. So let's take a look at how that would work with an actual system here. The original circuit that we have that has just the option to increment is right about here. And on this, we've just built an additional section of the circuit here, which allows us to do the decrementing. This works very similarly to the original circuit here. It runs a monostable circuit through with a two tick pulse coming out here. And when a bit is on, this first bit is on. When a bit is on, this piston is extended, pushing this block down here. And what that does is that uh, this redstone dust powers this block, powering this repeater, carrying a signal up this redstone torch. Now, if this is not here, then this repeater would not get activated and the signal would pass, it drops down one block and it passes on through to the next bit to check that one. But when it is activated, like I said, it does power this redstone torch tower, which turns this line of redstone dust on. That carries down to this here, powering this block, turning this torch off, turning this dust off, allowing this torch to be turned on. Now this torch would then power this sticky piston, which is the one that initially pushes out the blocks that allows the signal to get passed along through in the original system. So that powers that block to pull the block that it pushes out back in since it's being pushed with a two tick pulse. And then it also powers this top block here which pushes the composter and the uh, block below it uh, back down, uh, turning off the output from it. Now that's how it would work, that's how everything works for, for every bit. The only addition is that for the bits after the first bit, they have to go back and then reset the bits lower to them. So the same signal uh, is, gets passed along here. It just continues on past that. So this repeater powers this block, which powers this redstone dust here. Now it's important that these two blocks are transparent blocks. And this dust here powers this block here. That's another monostable circuit. And then we pass the signal along here with four ticks of delay with using four repeaters set to one tick, so we're not actually extending the signal, we're just delaying the signal. That comes down here and passes along through to the first bit in the scenario. It's going from the second bit to the first bit. And what this does is it just sends another signal down the line, reactivating this bit. So it's down another signal down the increment line starting at the bit that it wants to increment. So that signal just gets extended as we go through to further bits here. So if we look at the four bit here, if we're trying to turn the four bit off, then the signal comes down here, comes through these four repeaters all set to one tick, comes through here and it powers, runs down below here and it powers that number two bit. And what happens there is that when that number two bit gets turned on, it tries to turn the number one bit off because that's just how the system is designed. And so that's why we have the four repeaters set to one tick to add the delay here to allow the system time to try to turn this bit off before this signal comes through and turns the bit back on. So if you look closely, what you'll actually see when we decrement is this uh, piston will push down first and then it'll get pushed up at the end to turn itself back on. Right there. So you see 
that extended first, and then after it extended it, the, the system lifted it back up to turn it back on. So again, it's a fairly straightforward system. There's nothing really too complex going on here as well. It's just basically the inverse of what we were doing with the initial system. And once you have that, you have a fully functioning binary counter that has the option to increment the number as well as to decrement the number. And you can build this system or you can just go with the easy version that is just incrementing if that's the only functionality that you need. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have a link in the description down below to a world download for this that will include this uh, binary counter with the incrementing and the decrementing. Uh, it'll include a copy of this one here that's just for the incrementing. It'll also include this here if you wanna just play around with binary numbers uh, to get a better feel for that. But that'll be down in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below or if you have any comments, leave those in the description below as well. All right guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe because I'll be doing more videos like this in the future showing off cool redstone contraptions and builds and you don't wanna miss any of those. That's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.